are many key parts to starting off your morning. If it's not coffee, then maybe it's something else, especially since it's such a big day for Central Texas students today with the start of STAR testing. Um, being prepared is key, and that is why Dr. Kelly Kovarik is here with the St. David's Children's Hospital. Parents, to give you some ideas to make sure that your kid is prepared for the test. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for being here. I was just asking you during the break, is there something um, key for parents out there to really listen to? Because we hear about, you know, make sure you give your children a good breakfast, good night's sleep. But all of that's important because it could help with memory, you said? Yes. Okay, tell me a little bit more about that. So um, they've done some interesting studies that show that uh, memory can be improved if you eat uh, certain breakfast foods like um, yogurt, oatmeal, um, eggs, and that memory is also helped if you eat a meal kind of close to when you test. Oh, so okay. also just sending a snack with your kiddo um, to eat kind of mid-morning would right. be important. And, and make sure the health is obviously, uh, the snack is a healthy snack and not so much sugar in the snack as well. That may not work for your kid. Correct. Okay. And alertness. Are there certain foods that you can take to make sure that your kid is alert? Monday mornings are hard for everybody in the family. Sure. So, so again, those are the same foods that I that I named, just kind of foods that are, are going to keep your blood sugar steady and constant throughout the morning. Okay, and how much sleep do you, I, I know it varies, right, from kid to kid, and how much sleep they actually need to be ready for the next day. As a doctor, what do you recommend, especially for high school students who may not need as much sleep as the younger ones? So for high school students, they need about nine hours of sleep a night. Okay. Um, and it's really important to practice good sleep hygiene. So turn off the iPhone, turn off the electronics about two hours before bedtime. That will help your kid get to bed on time and stay asleep. Okay, so what we learned today is that dairy can actually help with memory problems for kids out there, especially on a day that's so big. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so lots of dairy. A good healthy snack and um, good advice too because this is something that's going to be going on for the next few days to make sure that your kid gets a healthy amount of sleep. 